Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this Stable Diffusion tutorial, we're going to learn how to run Stable Diffusion GUI on an M1 Mac, an Apple Silicon Mac. How can you run Stable Diffusion GUI? For that, we are going to use something called Stable Diffusion B. That is uh, like an on-click solution that has been uploaded here. So as you can see, it's a it's a very simple application where you can just go ahead and then give your prompt. And uh, once you give your prompt, and that's going to generate. So we're going to see um, how quickly, simply you can use Stable Diffusion um, GUI and then just simply run it. The first thing is you have to go to the repository and once you go to the repository Diffusion B, you would see that there is a link that helps you download a DMG file, like a Mac application file. All you have to do is right click it and then click download or just, just double click it and then that is going to download the application, the Mac application and then you can you can now download it um, like whatever way you want and then you can just double click and install it on your machine. Ideally the way it happens on Mac is that you have to move that um, downloaded application into applications folder and once you have that thing you have got the one click stable diffusion that is diffusion B ready on your M1 Mac. Now the things that you need to keep in mind is like when you download it for the first time, it's going to download first the installer. Also, it's going to download the like approximately four, four or five gigs model. So just make sure that you have got four or five gigs internet and also the space on your machine for you to download and uh, then run it. So this is like first time it's going to download all the required stable diffusion model. Also in the backend, it uses PyTorch Nightly, which leverages the metal um, that is available on um, the M1 Mac, the Apple Silicon Mac. This is this is uh, this is excellent and this is amazing for people who do not have a dedicated NVIDIA GPU rather if they have got uh, the latest Mac in, in, in this particular case if they have got M1 um, or M, M1 Pro uh, like whatever Apple Silicon machine then you can literally go here to this repository and then you can download the Diffusion B application one click installer and then you can start using it um, on your own Mac. Now, once you install it after the model is downloaded, all you have to do is go here, like open it, double click, open it. You're going to enter the prompt. Uh, now, the prompt is very similar, like what you're going to give um, if it is on Google Collab or Dream Studio. Even you can copy paste prompts directly from uh, Lexica Art. So the prompt that I want to try is a beautiful sunset. Um, I think um, just a beautiful sunset could be somehow um, er sometimes, you know, ambiguous. So maybe add 4K landscape and uh, stock photography uh, sometimes the challenge with stock photography is that it can actually embed the logo of a, a stock photography uh, company in itself but uh, let's let's see how the generated image looks like image generation takes quite a bit of time um, depending upon the amount of ram that you have got whether you have got 18 16 gb ram 32 gig ram um, this was tried on an 8 gig ram so it was taking a little bit of time but definitely faster than cpu now this is this is a beautiful sunset 4k landscape stock photography and this is what i have got and as you can see that there is a, there is a there is a logo um, a stock photography company's logo image to image is currently not available um, but if you see the lo uh, logs you can see um, the kind of uh, things that were happening behind the scenes when you are trying to generate this image uh, using the given prompt and again, like I said, like the prompt uh, is something that you can play with uh, or copy from lexica.art. We have already covered lexica.art in this channel. So you can try lexica.art prompt as well. Now, um, it, give, cut about this repository in itself. Uh, so this is uh, developed by uh, a developer called Divyam Gupta. So thank you, Divyam Gupta. And um, it's, it's so simple. All you have to do is like after you install it, just open the application, look for the application diffusion beyond your computer and you have it ready. And uh, that's it in this video. See you in another stable diffusion.